You guys, just look at the frost covering these trees right now. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, anyways, <laughs> um, this is going to be one of those videos where there's really no beginning, middle, or end. It's just kind of a compilation of all of the things that weren't quite long enough to make into videos by themselves. So there's like three separate days in here, maybe four. You're just gonna have to bear with me, okay? Um, but before we get into the video, I just wanted to give you guys an update on Grandpa Kurt. Um, he's doing so much better. He's back home, feeling great. So thank you so much for the thoughts and prayers and nice comments. Um, and then one more quick thing, you guys know that I sell clothes, laurafarms.com. Um, uh, from now on, from now for the next couple weeks, um, a portion of the sales from anything you buy, um, a shirt, a hat, sweatshirt, jacket with your name on it, whatever, is going to be going to the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Um, it's a charity that helps, um, gives grants out to people who are, have served our country but are starting to look um, for a job in the agriculture field. They want to start their own farm. Um, so you can check out their website if you want to know more. But for the next couple weeks, a, a donation will be going to them with every purchase you make. So go check out the store. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey everyone, mm. welcome to the pig farm. Oh, ugh, never mind. Ugh. Now, I'm not saying that I should be on dirty jobs. You guys remember that show? But uh, I think this would definitely qualify as one. Today, power washing out the, uh, the hog barns. We have successfully sold and loaded out all the pigs that were in here. There we go, you can see all the feeders are tipped up. But now I have to go through, I already started, as you can uh, tell, uh, go through, and I thought I'd show you guys what the tail end of this looks like. So, after all the pigs were loaded out on their trucks, shipped away to a better place, <laughs> uh, we tipped up all the feeders here, um, and then we started all the sprinklers. So in the summertime, we have sprinklers to keep the pigs all cooled off. Um, but we ran those on full blast for a few days so that the floors could start soaking, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Uh, now that that's all done, I come in here with a huge power washer. Here's my wand. Has a nice whirly bird end on it. Uh, we have water lines all in the ceiling. I just hook up and have to clean every surface off before we can get a new load of hogs in so that nothing is contaminated. And it is quite the job, let me tell you. Um, so this is what I'm wearing for the job. I think every surface is kind of gross in here. But I've got <laughs> these big rubber gloves that are insulated. I've got a rain suit on. I've got a blue collar suit underneath it. And then just like a sweatshirt and jeans. I've got big muck boots. And then I've got earplugs in because the power washer is really loud. And then I wear safety goggles to protect my eyes. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I'm doing here.
Oh, my work here is done. And now I turned on the sprinklers to give everything one last soak. And then that should do it. We'll be ready for the baby pigs to come in. I can honestly say, I think that's one of the most exhausting farm jobs I've ever done. It took me like uh, two hours, three hours to do half it. Not fun. I'm feeling pretty disgusting right now. Everything is just like, ugh. All right, the most annoying part about that is that my straps were too long. So they kept slipping down my arms. I didn't like that very much. Other than that, I think they worked okay. Oh, I cannot tell you how excited I am for a shower. Ugh. Just kind of like peel everything off of me. There were some cracks in my rain gear, so I got a little wet. Ugh. Also, kind of uh, ripped the pants a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, time for a shower and a nap. Well, hello. Good morning. A little chilly outside today. It's kind of foggy. You guys remember all those bales that Grant and I piled up the other day? Well, we have a few buyers lined up, surprisingly. So Grant is just going to grab one of the bales with the front loader and then bring it around and set it on this guy's trailer. This has been kind of a new experience for us as we've never loaded bales with, uh, anything before ever so kind of a learning experience on what the best way to do it is comments below are appreciated if you have better ways to do this <laughs> oh my gosh okay if you know anything about me is that i love raccoons and look there's one right there I mean, I hope it's not like rabbit or anything, but oh my gosh, dude. Okay, this one time my friends had pet raccoons and I got to hold them and it was the best thing ever. <gasps> it's so cute. Did you know that raccoons like powdered donuts? Oh, <laughs> give him another one, give him another one. Okay, so he's still eating the powdered donuts, but our theory is, is that perhaps his mouth is dry from the powder, and so we've devised a contraption. And I'm, I'm really, really hope, oh, sinking his teeth into it. I want him to grab the bottle of water with his hands and drink it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Don't get any closer. Ready? Drink it. Drink it, water. Come on. It's Capri Sun. It's so good. You want some? It's sugar water. Sugar water. Wash your little paws. Oh. Confirmed. Raccoons like Capri Suns. <laughs> 